Welcome back YouTube. It is I, the Quartz Herobrine. Today, we're doing a very serious video. As you can tell, I have my uh, professional chair. My prof prof professional fi fire, fire, f fireplace. And my professional kid-friendly glass of wine. Day. We're reading, of course, you can tell by the book that I have. Don't ignore the extra set of hands. That's normal. Professional. So today, we're going to be reading B movie fan fiction. Now you might you might have heard of this B movie fan fiction. In case you haven't, it's a little explicit and fucked up. So uh, I hope I hope you're ready. Now, I'll have a link to this in the description, of course. Uh, technically, it's like a repost, because the original link to it doesn't work anymore. It's a uh, like gimmage on M Imgur. Anyway, let's get started. So the title of this story is She Wants the Bee. Barry, are you sure? Vanessa gasped. She and Barry had been together for a year. She loved him. He loved her. They had everything they ever wanted. And there was each other. But she wanted more. Or was this more she could possibly need? Well, this particular thing she wanted was driving her crazy. She wanted it. No. She needed it. She needed a good, hard, fucking... She needed to be fucked so hard she couldn't walk for days. <laughs> she, she needed near pelvis crushing thrusting between her legs. She yearned for something, anything, that would bring her the pleasure she desired. Barry observed her troubled expression knowing exactly what she was thinking, what she wanted of him. Ignore that. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> uh, Vanessa, I am very sure. I know you've wanted this for a long time. I don't want to see you suffer like this. Barry <laughs> pulled on. Barry pulled on the slick rubber suit Vanessa had made for the special occasion. Once suited up, he dived into the pile of lubricant beside him, making sure to cover his whole body. But Barry, what if you don't make it? <laughs> but Barry, what if you don't make it out alive? She was having second thoughts. As much as she wanted this, she didn't want to risk losing her bee partner. Vanessa, I love you, and that is why I am willing to do this. He positioned himself around her, cr her crotch, wait waiting for her thighs to grant him access. Vanessa reluctantly spread her legs wide, leaning back on her arms which supported her weight. Barry was in awe at the sight in front of him, the sight of human female anatomy. He spent a good minute observing the beauty lake before him, taking in all that he could see of this majestic beast he believes to be called the vagina. <laughs> Vanessa blushed hard. Please stop staring at it. You're making me feel self-conscious. Just hurry up and fuck me. <laughs> Barry readied himself before shooting off into the pink monster. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> No, shut up. Sorry, serious reading of a serious story. He was he was greeted to a moist cavern. He wriggled around, trying with all his might to bring his lover pleasure. From outside this juicy little fun hole. <laughs> juicy little fun hole. <laughs> Vanessa focused her entire being on the sensations inside of her, feeling her body heat up. There. Vanessa realized a loud moan. He found it. He found the spot. Even, di 
could even bury deep inside of her. Could hear her. He continued to press against that particular spot that caused her to make those erotic sounds. He liked it. He liked the sounds he brought upon her. Vanessa moaned at every movement. She was close. She had a prop. She had a faster, harder. Barry wasn't capable of doing so. Unaware of her anguish, Barry continued his steady fidgeting. Feeling quite accomplished in his work, he decided to go for a bolder move. He dug in deeper, moving through her u her uterus. Turn, turned on his night vision goggles, wanting to see inside the beautiful vagina. It was an understatement that he was shocked. A state of sheer horror would be the best way to describe Barry's current self. And what moved him into such a state? It could be the developing human inside his beloved. Vanessa couldn't feel his movements anymore. She was scared. Scared that her vagina had consumed her beloved. She was unaware of the drama occurring inside her. Unaware. She was pregnant. Betrayed. Betrayed by his lover, she was pregnant with a human child. Inside his suit of rubber, the sound of sobs could not escape. She cheated on him. She, the one who was supposed to love him until the day he died and beyond. At that moment, Barry the Bee had lost all he lived for. How could he trust her again? He can't just pretend this never happened. That slut, that dirty whore. Punishment. Barry knew what he had to do. He removed the suit, his body becoming covered in his lover's fluids. He moved closer to the fetus, glaring. He whipped out his beak cock and rubbed it against the skin of the developing human. Again, grinding against it, speed increasing with every thrust. His beak cock nagged for release, pushing the bee to his limits. He pressed against the child of betrayal, pulverizing his beak cock in the process. He moved over to the heart, pressing his stinger against it, killing both himself and the fetus. Vanessa couldn't handle it anymore. She reached inside herself. Feeling for her lover in the rubber suit, she pulled out an empty suit. Gasping, she returned to feeling around inside herself. It hurt, but she didn't care. All she needed was to retrieve Barry. She grasped something, ripping it out of the forest with a thousand nuns. She stared at what she pulled from inside her. She saw Barry. He was dead. But that wasn't it. There was a fetus. Barry was attached to the fetus. Her lover and her unborn child were dead, their bodies in front of her. She picked up the fetus, inserting it back inside of her. At least I can try and save you. Back in you go, baby. She sobbed. She, she, she picked up Barry. How could she try and save him? There was a loud noise from behind her. She hastily turned her body to see some douchebag in a stupid-ass cap. And there were cameras. What the fuck was going on? Vanessa! You just got punked, Ashton said a little too enthusiastically. He then proceeded to tell her about the entire saga. The way Ashton planted the baby inside her as she slept. The way Ashton plotted to make them both believe she was pregnant. The way Ashton stalked them for days beforehand. Went with their plan for weird-ass human on B-sex. <laughs> oh, God. You mother... You motherfucker! Vanessa shrieked, climbing to her feet. She swings at the annoying man, landing a hit on his nose, nose bones crushing under the pressure of the punch. Barry is, ugh, Barry is dead! She took him down, overpowering him with ease. The voice is not consistent. She unzipped his pants and positioned, himself, positioned herself over Ashton. She raped him. With all her might, she raped him. God, I'm going to have to restrict this video her thrust conveying her anger at the man. Ashton lay there, unable to move under the power of Vanessa. Tears shrieking down, tears running down his face. He begged her to stop. He could feel his pelvis cracking, but she didn't listen. Vanessa let out a final moan, screaming, Ah! Shrek is love! Shrek is life! As she wrote out her orgasm, the cameraman fled as she stared them down and the way the cameraman saw it.
they escaped with their lives. Martian lay there, pathetic and powerless. It's only pissing Vanessa off further. He needed further punishment. She grabbed the lifeless body of the unborn child, tearing off Ashton's pants completely, and, with a dry hand, forced her entire fist inside his ass. <laughs> Ashton cried out in pain and tried to escape the woman. His attempts were futile. Vanessa removed her hand, reaching in into herself, fishing out the fetus. Shh. It is okay, Molly, dear. You'll be safe inside Mr. Kutcher. She whispered softly into her baby's ear. She shoved Molly into Ashton. A wide grin spread across her face. She grasped his throat in her hands, pressing down, killing him in a matter of minutes. No tears now. Only dreams. By the last words, Ashton would ever hear. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, sorry. Serious video. We're, we're doing a serious video about uh, serious things. So that that was uh, the first we, first story we read on this channel. I think it was a masterpiece of writing. In all honesty, she wants the bee. Was. An incredible story, an emotional roller coaster all the way through. It's incredible characters and settings, the descriptions, all of it was just so well done. And I want to give kudos to the author. Who was the author? I don't think it said. I. Hold on. Yeah, no, I, I didn't. Look, it doesn't look like it said. Uh, apparently, the author wanted to remain anonymous. I don't know why. I mean, I you think you'd want to put your name onto something that great? Anyway, that was a reading of B movie fan fiction, a story she wants to be. I'll put a link so you can read it yourself to your children. Don't read this to your children. Like, no no jokes about don't read that to your children. Put a link to it in the description. Where you can read it to your coworkers. Your boss, and you can get fired. Uh, so, thanks for watching. If you did, don't know why you did, but if you did, thanks.